Okay, let's move on to question two for chapter 15. The question reads, a liter of TPN solution contains 500 milliliters of a 50% dextrose solution and 500 milliliters of a 5% amino acid solution. Determine the daily energy and protein intakes of a person who receives 2 liters per day of such a solution. Calculate the average daily energy intake if the person also receives 500 milliliters of a 20% fat emulsion three times a week. Before you start this question, there are some facts that you need to know. The first is, what does this mean when it says a 50% solution or a 5% solution? The 50% solution means 5, 50 grams per 100 milliliters. That's just the definition of something like this. This many grams of whatever it is per 100 milliliters. So 50% solution means 50 grams per 100 milliliters. A 5% solution means 5 grams per 100 milliliters. The next thing you need to know is that the carbohydrate in a TPN solution is dextrose monohydrate. This is a molecule of dextrose with a single water molecule bonded to it. Okay? Because some of the weight of the molecule is taken up by this water, it doesn't have as many calories as most carbohydrates that we're used to working with. So, dextrose monohydrate has 3.4 kcals per gram, not 4 kcals per gram like most carbohydrates that we're used to. Uh, finally, with the lipid solutions, a 20% lipid solution means that there is 2 calories per milliliter of solution. Now, a lipid solution is just that. It's lipids versus um, these where you have to figure out you know how many grams per milliliter this is just telling you for a 20 percent solution it's two calories per gram a 30 percent solution is three calories per gram strangely enough a 10 percent solution is 1.1 calories per gram but we're not going to worry about that for this problem all we're worried about is for this problem we're using a 20 percent lipid solution or I think they say fat solution in the question uh, means two calories per milliliter. So those are the things that we need to know to do the calculations. Moving on to the question. Oops, I went too far. Okay, the question says that um, one liter of the solution is half and half dextrose and amino acids. So one liter is 500 milliliters of dextrose solution and 500 milliliters of amino acid solution. Okay, Be careful because if you carefully read the question it says if two liters of the solution are given. So if one liter is 500 milliliters and 500 milliliters of the two different solutions, two liters is going to be a thousand milliliters of each. So let's start with the dextrose. A thousand milliliters of 50% solution times 50 grams per 100 milliliters. Remember I said that was the fact you needed to know uh, to do these problems, that a 50% dextrose solution is 50 grams per 100 milliliters. Well, we're giving 1,000 milliliters, so we have to do the math out, multiply this out, you get 500 grams of dextrose. Um, it's a little hard to show the calculations on the screen like this because of having to write these out horizontally, but if you were going to write this out uh, on a piece of paper, you could write 1,000 milliliters over 1 times 50 over 100 on the bottom. Okay, And if you multiply that across, you get the 1,000 times the 50 and then divided by 100 on the bottom. That's how you would get the 500 grams of dextrose. Now, 500 grams of dextrose times 3.4 calories per gram is equal to 1,700 calories. But remember, the solution isn't only carbohydrates. It's half carbohydrate, half amino acids. So we're doing 1,000 milliliters of the amino acid solution, which was, remember, 5% means 5 grams per 100 milliliters. 
So 1,000 milliliters times 5 grams per 100 milliliters equals 50 grams of amino acids. 50 grams of amino acids times 4 calories per gram, as per all proteins, equals 200 calories from protein. So we're going to add these together to get the daily carbohydrate, uh, the daily calories, I'm sorry, 1,700 from carbohydrate, 200 from protein equals 1,900 calories altogether. The question also asked to uh, calculate the daily protein intake. Well, we already did that. It's this 50 grams. We did this calculation right here, 50 grams amino acids. So this patient is receiving 50 grams of protein and 1,900 calories from this solution. Now, you might have noticed that this is just carbohydrates and amino acids. The second part of the question says, imagine they are also getting 500 milliliters of a 20% fat emulsion three times per week. Okay, so it might help to kind of step away from the numbers here for a moment and kind of picture what's happening here. Every day, the patient is getting some bags of uh, TPN solution. So this would be like the clear bag that you see in like a hospital TV show that's hanging up on the pole with the line going into the patient. Okay, that's the first part that we did, the amino, the amino acids and carbohydrates. That's just going in every day, 1,900 calories. Separate from that, there's going to be a separate bag with the fat emulsion. And that makes sense if you think about it because fat and water don't mix. The carbohydrate and amino acids are water soluble. Fat is all obviously fat soluble. They don't go together. So they tend to do the fats separate, right? So you're getting those, those clear bags every day. Three times a week you're getting this extra little bag of fat. You know, sounds appetizing, doesn't it? Okay, so three times a week we're getting this extra dose of calories. So we've got to figure out how much extra that is. So, like we said, 20% fat solution means 2 calories per milliliter. If we're giving 500 milliliters, we multiply. 500 milliliters times 2 calories equals 1,000 calories each time. 1,000 calories each bag of fat. Okay, we're doing that 3 times a week. All right, so 3 times a week times 1,000 calories equals 3,000 extra calories from the fat that you're giving. Now, since you're not giving it every day, you need to divide it out over the week. So you're, you're really getting an average. Okay, so we're giving an extra 3,000 calories per week, but per day, we divide it by seven days, that's an extra 428 calories per day. So we had 1,900 calories from the carbohydrate and amino acid solution that's happening every day and then an average of 428 extra calories from the lipids that we're giving three times a week. So you add those together to get the total of 2,328 calories per day. That's the combination of the two different types of solutions. That's how you do that sort of problem.